everyone welcome back to the channel today we are here with an amazing new game that i was able to get my hands on thanks to the guys over at hero games now this game itself is not in america it's not global yet it's still in a beta access you want to say it's only in the sea territories it's in a few countries here and there but thankfully they contacted me and they were like hey check this game out and i was like okay cool if i don't like it i'm not gonna play it uh just so you guys know i think i kind of like this you know guys i never really play idle games that much but this one is a really fun one this one is called eternal evolution now with that being said evolution has a lot to do with things in here because you are constantly evolving and doing things with these heroes with these characters however you want to label them there are three fraction factions of them actually and there's a whole story deep dive into the lore that i could get to eventually but i know you guys just want to check out and see what the key hooks of this game are and just like with all idle games you can do great things while if you if you're busy you can't play for a day you can't play for some hours you are still playing the game the game is running for you in the background and you're still getting loot you're still getting things you need to help you progress and to help you evolve and to help you get your character stronger and stronger now speaking of let's take a look at the heroes themselves these are the heroes that i have personally as you can see i've been playing this game i've been playing it for a while i've been playing a few days actually i had it for probably about a week going on now but does you be keeping it transparent but this is great you can see just the great details that's going into the champions you have voices lines you have great voice acting you got great 3d models and they just look so good and you can go switch from them they from dragons to strong here you went women's like this and you got these mechanical bots you got so many different various heroes of shapes these aliens these monsters these different things and that's what makes this refreshing because it's not all just one type it's not all just monsters they're just not all elves or humans or orcs or anything like that it's just a smash mosh of amazing great character models now you can go in you can do a story mission and something like this you can say you can actually switch around your placement you can move the placements around you can do things like that which is super fun and then if you go to challenge just like with any idle game you can do auto battle or you cannot we're gonna do auto no hands mom look and you can see what's going on it goes down it's really fun it looks really great as well now this is still in beta so the graphics honestly still have time to improve and to do more I would honestly love in this like a 3d model viewer so you can move around maybe and get some really good shots of the action but this alone looks really great i love they all have unique ultimates unique moves with just like any idle game you can either do this auto battle style or once you get higher in most of these games of this nature you have to actually pay attention play it yourself and know when to use those special moves now that's just one way you can play there's so many other things you can do. You can go over here, take a look at your missions. You can see what you have to do for the day. You can do other things. Like if we go here to the base, it takes to this whole nother section where you actually have to build this. You have to build onto this. You don't start out with all of this. No, 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 no. You have to play the game, do different missions, do different things, and it allows you to get all these different stuff and it just helps you feel to make the game feel more organic it makes the game feel more interesting and that you're a part of this living breathing society that you're building and helping create now since i got you guys here let me just show you what a a pool looks like we're not going to do a temple we're just going to do a regular pool this is what it looks like it's pretty cool it's just it's coming down and it opens up and it shows you who you got you can kind of see what you got by what it shows right there you see that it's a blue that's going to let you know that it's just going to be a blue person it's going to be a blue common or however you want to rate their ratings of their characters but other than that it's really fun it sets a satisfying feel you got different ways to do that you have advance you also have the friendship pool you have the limited pool that i haven't even got to yet but you have different banner pools that you have to unlock by playing and then it gives you another incentive to play because to get better pulls, to get better chances of different champions and different heroes, you have to continue progressing through the story, which I think is a great way to make you want to do some more stuff. 
Now you can go to, to the perimeter and this is more different things you can play, different stages, different ways you can play to do things from grinding to get in different arenas to doing just so much here that you can just progress in so many ways. If you get tired of playing one way, if you get tired of playing one thing, you can go and do another. And look, we can go over here. We can persuade somebody. Basically, we get to add another unit if we want, if we need it. If we can go here, we want to, you know, boost a certain thing up for our stats. And then we go into battle. And now once we get ready for battle, we just do this. We also have assist champions. You have assists that can help. And just take a look at it. this one. It's really cool because you see once one of my actual AOE happens and it hits three people, this airship will come in and do an area effect damage as well. And it just helps you so much do different things. And it's, I, I enjoy this because I can sit here and watch the fights or I can partake in the fights or I can just push the button and see it's auto combat. It's like, hey, you can't fight. We got this. So I'm gonna sit back and trust the game and let the game play. And lo and behold, we're gonna win. Well, I actually might have somebody lose. This is real live reaction right here, not scripted. Oh, I did have somebody go down. But that's okay because everyone is ulting at the same time. We got the airship coming in. Bada bing, bada boom, one, two, three. And it's done just like that. And we got a victory. And you see, you can do this, do different ways of playing. You go to the outpost, you can send out people to do different things to collect different stuff that you need. And you can come and farm that. You know, it's really interesting that they have so many ways to collect and get resources because it makes it feel like you're always doing something. There's always something to do. Even though this is an idle game, you don't have to idly sit back and play. You can do so much to get so much out of this game and you get so many chances to do other things. So I suggest if you wanna take partake in this, if you're already in those SEA countries, look this up. This is also a game you can actually pre-register for on TapTap, which I'll leave the link down below to both TapTap Tap and to this. TapTap Tap is a home of amazing Android games that you can play all for yourself. And I just tell people TapTap Tap is kind of like the, you know, the Epic Store or something like that. It's just another storefront where you can download games for free, try them out, give your feedback, and they will know what's going on. But let me know what you guys think of this. Are you interested in idle games? Do you enjoy them? Do you like gotcha games? Because I'm a sucker for gotcha games. And that's what this is. An amazing idle gotcha game. We'll probably do a couple of videos. Show you some temples. Show you some epic things. Show you how to better equip your heroes. But let me know what you think down below. And have you played this game? But with all that being said. Thank you guys for watching. And remember to always, always stay frisky. And that I love you. They act like you fuck with them They don't know I be gunning Pow pow, got them running I feel like they just racing Over to come over to party with me Shots on shots way over the